Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I'm going to be doing another themed quest, this time the Cold Humor. And of course I'm rocking out with my Dual Blades build. I still do not have a Berserk 2 Talisman. One day I'll eventually get one, but I got my Berserk 1 with 2 2 slots. And here are all the skills and decorations. Of course, all the green numbers are from decorations. And of course, for today, the themed quest, as you'll see very soon, is a Risen Camellios and a Velcana. Because I feel like Camellios would be a pretty funny guy, trying to make jokes and stuff. And then obviously Velcana is just ice cold, so may as well. Right, this is a Berserk build of course, so I'm going to need to go into Berserk to get the most benefit out of it, as well as the safety. It's a very reliable build, for sure. I'm going to be going for the front legs primarily. If I can't, I'll go for the back legs instead, and of course we counter that, get some more damage. The reason we go for the front legs opposed to the face or anything like that is because the front legs and the back legs there actually have element hit zones of 30, which is much, much higher than what everything else is. And the front legs you can actually stick to, as you can see. So you do a ton of ton of damage to the front legs if you can actually position in a decent way. Which I'm not honestly positioned too well to hit there, but at least it's better than nothing. Dodge the bite, of course. Okay, what's she do out of that? Triple stabs, or probably just double at the moment? Nope, she is enraged. Okay, she just didn't get to, uh, like, sing, roar, I guess. Although I think she did roar, and I might have knocked her down with the, uh, cheeky hellfire knockdown. Might have been what happened there. Spin, okay. Second one. There it is, we get another spiral. Nice and easy. Just get some good damage. It wasn't on the arm, sadly. As I said, the arm's a 30 hit zone, opposed to the head, which is like a 20 or 25, something like that. So you definitely want to go the arms with a elemental base build. Oh, that's too far. What am I doing? Okay, I didn't even hit the, the starburst beetle. So that was a terrible play there. That's all right. Triple stab. I'm just going to hit this so I get some extra healing. I don't think she's hit me yet, so I don't have that much berserk to, to heal up. Except there, because I obviously got hit. It's alright, we'll go the arms once again. I'm going to do a spin into another one, because I don't have another wire bug to spend. And that, I'm going to build up as much bloodlust meter as I can. And hope my cats heal me a little bit, because I don't think they've done so yet. There we go, healing bubble there as well. Nice. I can also use my second state of uh, Demon Flurry Rush if I need more mobility. Counter. She missed. Should come down. If not, Berserk to be safe. Oh, there's the heal. I knew it was coming. Alright. Wasn't even worried. That sucks though. She should nuke out of this, I feel like. Oh, she missed. Okay. I should also go for the mount, because um, obviously you can mount both of these. And if I use the marionette, we should be able to get pretty much a guaranteed mount. Even though I've been messing that up the previous couple days. Honestly, just not been thinking too much with those ones. It's definitely why that happens. That's okay though. Oh, bite. Easy. Get some more damage. Dodge again. Should come down. Ah, tried to reach her. That's alright. The face will be on the opposite side. Well, the, the front legs, at least, is what we're aiming for, as I said. So it'll be over there. Again. Oh, we hit her. Nice. Just a little bit. Spiral Slash should finish it. Oh, that was way too high, but we take those. I'm gonna grab this mount just to get free damage in. Valkana is probably like one hit from death, if I had to guess, because we got a lot of damage into her, uh, like, 10% health there. Because I think the blue symbol is like 10 to 14%, something like that. So it's definitely getting real close there. Just keep doing the forward heavy. Again, get off as much damage as I can, and then launch her into the Camellios here, just to get that damage in, and guaranteed the finisher. I'd imagine like one or two hits, maybe. Maybe not even... Like a Palico could probably kill Volcana at the moment. Dead? Yeah, I thought so. That's okay. Uh, we don't have any good Starburst Beetles, sadly. I'm just waiting for the corpse to finally lay down so I can actually wallbang. Because the corpse will actually get in the way if you uh, try and do that. There we go. We want to go the arms and face. I think the face you can actually stick to, but the arms you can't. I could be wrong there. We'll uh, find out sometime in this hunt, I'm sure. If I try and go for the arms. Let's see. Oh, I can go for the arms. Okay. I think the arms are just a good help them in the hit zone then. Okay. Some good damage while he roars. There's also healing bats over there. I should not have done that, but we got the Hellfire Knockdown, thankfully. And I'm sitting in the healing cloud, so we're fine there. Uh, we don't have any bugs, so I'm just going to do one Demon Flurry Rush into a Demon Dance. And of course, I got my bug back. I should have been looking at Bloodlust as well. 
that's okay. Get one out of that encounter. Also gonna go hit my bats now. Which is conveniently next to the body as well, so I get some free damage out of it. Just be conservative with my bugs here, because uh, I'd rather make this as quick as possible by not getting hit. We obviously do plenty of damage, because dual blades. But I still need to be somewhat uh, reserved with it if I want to kill a little bit faster, so I don't have to swap around in Berserk too much. Nice damage. Got a stagger as well. Should be behind me. Of course. Into sweep. Nice. I just get a spiral slash off that. Good, good damage. We take those. Doing the nuke. Don't get swept by the tail. I don't think it launches directly backwards, so we should be safe. As long as you go far enough back so you don't get scooped. Should be pretty good. That sucks. Why, of all the options, you chose... I always forget that level 280 Camellios has that, and that's okay. Like the EX version. Okay, that's a little childish, but I guess that's to be expected of Camellios, right? That's okay, though. There we go. Ah, uh, I was one hit away from the break. That is so unfortunate. But again, pretty much my luck. That's alright. Some more damage. There we go. Couple more sweeps. Again, just saving my wire bugs for now. Should be over here. Is that a kitnator? Nice, Abuki. You trying, buddy? I should definitely go over to that if I get hit again. But we may not get hit. Maybe. Well, we already got hit. I'm just going to reset Berserk while he does this. And then go over to Abuki. Ah, uh, Abuki gave up at the wrong time there. But that's okay. Frontal. We get a spiral slash. Got staggered, unfortunately. Oh, I expected the tail slam, but that's alright. Sweep into slam. Nope. There it is. Watch the rocks, because he puts rocks out in front of him when he does that. Like a mini shockwave, kind of. Another spiral slash. Right. Spin. We interrupted it. Nice. Oh, we're juking each other out here. Yep. Okay. Third. Well, I'm sure he didn't get juked out from that, but uh, definitely felt like it. Oh, we broke something. Is that the face already? It is! Damn, he's quite low already then. Not too bad. Good try, Ibuki. <laughs> I said, when they uh, when they miss the Kitnator there, they do generally get it, like, again. I don't know if it's guaranteed or not, but it definitely feels like it. Don't get swept again. And we should be s mm. Should be safe. Could have gotten a lot more damage into that, but that's okay. Unluckers. Every time. <laughs> Every time I'm like one hit away from it. That's okay though. Get some good damage. Go for a Spiral Slash on the face once again. Okay, the face definitely takes more from Spiral Slash. I'd imagine it's like five higher or something. At least it feels like it. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Lad's just fallen over. Yeah. Alright, not too bad. It's 741 for the quest Cold Humor, as I called it. Very, very nice. This is also just a very good quest if you're using any kind of elemental build. I think Charge Blade is another really good one for this hunt, as well as like Surge Slash and stuff like that. Because they ha both have very high element hit zones, and obviously you can only use... Well, you only have to swap to one set, essentially, if you want to deal with both monsters. Well, everybody, that was the quest I like to call Cold Humor with the Dual Blades. As I said, it's a very good matchup. If you want to do any kind of elemental build, you'll have a great time in there. As always, though, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one.